He was the winner of the very first season of The Biggest Loser, dropping a whopping 122 pounds. You are the biggest loser! That was back in 2005. But whatever happened to Ryan Benson? Well, here he is today, and he admits he's heavier now than when he went on The Biggest Loser. I just slipped back into my old habits really quick within the next year or two, and within about four or five years, I'd, I'd put back on all the weight. Ryan says he worked hard on the show to go from 330 pounds to 208 pounds, but he found it impossible to stick to the show's strict diet and exercise regimen. You know, I was eating a cheeseburger and fries and ribs, you know, right after the final weigh-in. Now Ryan is trying once again to shed those extra pounds. Right. And get this, the man helping him is J.D. Roth, the former executive producer of The Biggest Loser. What I'm hoping that we can do on this show is fix this. And if we fix this, then this fixes itself. J.D. has a new show, The Big Fat Truth, pounds. airing on Only cable Z Living Network. Benson and other former Biggest Loser contestants who gained weight back are featured on Sunday's really premiere episode. The Big Fat Truth is that in the end, that thing, that pain you feel in your, your, your stomach that you think is hunger pain, it's actually emotional pain. Right in front of you is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Awesome. So we can J.D. Really showed us Ryan's new diet. Everything he eats is plant-based, no meat and no dairy. Mm. It is good. Diet is only so half of the battle. The, the rest is exercise. Sprint. Go, 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 and go, go, And you don't go, need go, a fancy alive, gym. Right? All you really need is your body weight. Mm. You don't need much more than that to get a great workout in. I still got plenty of that. So far, Ryan is down 54 pounds and counting. He says this time he plans to keep the weight off. I'm still losing weight slowly and steady and um, I don't plan on ever changing.